Looks like we got a little getter out here. No problem. Oh yeah. Nope, this one's bending the rod. Come on, baby. <sighs> Plan B. I got a piece of unknown material here for my scrap bin. Uh, if that doesn't work, I got a hardened door pin that I can uh, grind the head off and try to use that. So let's give her a go. Okay, plan C. I'll grind the head off that and be right back. All right, here we go, plan C. Looks like I got my own custom bender here. I think it's time maybe to weld a nut here and take her out that way. I don't have anything hard enough to not bend without breaking and I'm not using any of my good chisels. So uh, I think it's plan D now. I just had a last ditch idea. This will be plan D. As you remember, this is the beat up handle that I knocked the end cap off of. Let's see if that'll work. <sighs> Look at that. Plan D. See that guys never give up and there's no reason that these should be that tight. No reason at all. This has a locking ring inside. I guess this old beat up broken handle or well used handle came in use. I think I got myself a new tool.
looks like the swivel base is in pretty good shape. I'm happy about that because these are what's usually hard to come by and they're not cheap. Here's another thing too. The alignment uh, dowel is there. That's a good thing. I thought since this vise was completely apart, I would go over some of the pieces. Uh, starting in the rear, we have our internal Acme thread nut. We have our tail piece, which if you remember was missing the tail cap. These tail caps are available. They're inch and 11 sixteenths. Some people even make them out of freeze plugs. So we'll see as we move forward. The internal Acme nut is housed in the tail piece and secured in place by two 3 sixteenths inch knurled pins. Moving to the vice body. I had an error in part two I need to correct right now. The uh, vice jaws are held in by quarter 20 socket cap head screws, not quarter 28. These are quarter 20. They look like quarter 28 to me when they were dirty. Once I cleaned them up, I quickly realized they weren't. Again, there's four of these that hold the two jaws on. We also have a quarter inch alignment dowel for both the front and rear jaw. Here's the rear pipe jaw held in by a 5 16 pin. Here's the rear jaw custom flame cut. Here's your two quarter 20s and your quarter inch alignment dowel. We have our front jaw. We have our front pipe jaw held in again by a 5 16 pin. Moving to the adjustable jaw. First I'd like to mention this is date stamped 85 which means that this vise was made in 1980 and the warranty expired in 1985. Again, this has the two quarter 20s and the quarter inch alignment. Moving to where the horseshoe washer was. As you remember, this was welded on. We cleaned up all the welds. This horseshoe washer is normally held on by three 1032 screws, so we're going to have to clean all this up. Uh, the horseshoe washers are available. We might even make one, depending if we have to take this flush or not. We'll see moving forward. And we have our 5 8 handle. I believe this is 9 or 10 inches long. I didn't measure it. And then we have our end caps. And this is our spindle. That's going to have to be cleaned up too. Moving to the swivel base. We have our base with our locking teeth on the inside. We have our locking ring with our alignment dowel so it doesn't slip around the base. Held secure by two half inch 13 carriage bolts and two locking nuts. So that will conclude part three. I hope you're enjoying the series. I am. And I appreciate all your comments, thumbs ups, and we'll see you in part four.